Hi guys, in this video, I will be answering how to create profitable front end welcome offers, right? To grow your list. Now, there is a secret to offers that convert. There is a formula of success that you can emulate. And I'm gonna show you an example of that. Here is a pop-up that was made by Zala here. And it's a pop-up that converted really, really well, right? Now, there is a pattern, there is a formula for it. And let's go through that. So first off, we see at the front of the pop-up, they're selling the solution, right? They're saying length, volume, and thickness in just 30 seconds, right? Then they give more benefits. No clips, no damage, no fuss. Then they add a bit of urgency, right? For the next hour, receive a free product with any purchase, right? So here we see that they're selling straight to the point the entire solution and they're giving the duration in just 30 seconds. Here's the solution that you get and that's how long it will take to work, right? Then they're adding urgency for the next hour only. So you need to act, right? Because even for solutions that are there, a lot of people don't act, right? It takes, they're like snails taking out money from their pocket to give it to you, right? And it's, even if the solution works and even if the value is there, some people just take time and you have to, you're competing against their own procrastination. You're competing against the distraction. So you really have to add urgency as well, right? Now, I just wanted to highlight that because it's something that a lot of people don't really talk about. So let's talk about the unit economics of welcome offers, right? Because at the end of the day, you want to create a welcome offer that is profitable, that just doesn't work, but also is profitable, right? That's why we're in business, to make a profit, right? So a lot of people have this notion that you need to make a loss up front in order to win. Now, that's not necessarily true. And... I've seen the opposite spectrum where you can have a win-win offer where the business wins or the brand wins, but the customer also wins, right? So you just have to be strategic about how you go about the offer and the pricing, right? So there are ways around it, but I want you to know that it's completely, completely possible. But for some reason, people think that a win-win solution is just not plausible and that's completely false i know the saying that says you know um growing your email list or you know running ads is like a startup killer you know you lose front end just to win in the back end but that's not true right the other thing is the offer must be valuable you have to offer something that people actually want whether you offer like a slice of it a small portion of it and you don't offer the entire solution but you ha it has to be something that people actually want, right? The other thing is keep margins in mind. Now, although e-commerce is very scalable, that's very true, um, for a lot of businesses are running on razor thin margins and it becomes entirely harder to scale because of this, right? Not only are they running on 20, 30% profit margins, but they're also running ads which eats into margins, right? On top of that, they're offering discounts, right? So if you're working with a brand that has slim margins, you have to keep this in mind. You don't want to offer 20% discounts to a brand that's already running extremely low on margins, right? The other thing is build with the AOV in mind as well. And this goes hand in hand with profit, right? Think of this, think of creating offers in the sense of it being a win-win and profitable. Now, the offer doesn't always need to be a percentage off or dollar amount off. You can grow your list and maximize cash flow or profitability. Here's an example of a brand offering free gift with a dollar amount or over 
a dollar amount, right? So you're incentivizing people to buy by giving a free gift. Here's another brand. This is a baby brand and this offer worked really, really well. And the reason why is because they're in the baby niche, right? And if you have to think of pain points mothers have, that relates to diapers. Diapers are really, really expensive. So if you're offering this, and remember, if you're running a giveaway, ultimately only one person gets it, right? But everyone has a chance to win. So this is something that you can use to grow your list where everybody signs up, but one person wins, right? Here's another one, right? You can offer something free, like a baby offer um, for a small amount. The customer just has to take care of shipping, right? So you're essentially already, you're essentially just giving away free product. They take care of shipping and you're not necessarily taking away from your cash flow because um, you're just, you know, using inventory, something you already paid for. What you can also do is offer an information product, right? Depending on the niche that you're in, this can work really, really well, right? And I'm going to show you more examples of that. But I just want to get your mind flowing with ideas that you can test. And, you know, a lot of brands are fixated on the percentage off, dollar amount off, because that's what everybody screams in the market, only to find out that this most probably is the offer that, you know, will be winning for you, right? It's not to say customers always want to save. Perhaps they want to get something in, uh, valuable, right? Like information, get something useful. And you can use that, right, to grow your list. Another thing that you can do is offer free consultations or a personalized product offer with a quiz. This can also be applied, right? Once somebody takes the quiz, not only are you giving them a personalized product recommendation, but you can, you can um, ask for their information to send your results, right? So that can be via SMS or email for them to get the results of the quiz, right? So not only are you offering a personalized solution up front, but you're also growing your list and in the back, once you know the reason why someone is buying your product, you can make a lot more personalized offers moving forward, which can be a win, right? Because then you can upsell profitably. If someone's, you know, going to your brand or buying your solution because they have oily skin, think of what that data means and what that data really can get you, right? Because once you know they have oily skin, you can offer them personalized solution. Hey, since you bought this toner, we have this product that just came out and it's especially for people with oily skin. I've tested it myself and it works wonders. I'm more likely to buy because now I know you're speaking to me. What you can also do is a birthday gift, another baby brand. And instead of doing what everybody else is doing, they're saying, we can get your child a birthday present, right? Just enter your email to get the special gift. Another way, right? So these ideas should open up your mind to brainstorming all of these offers, right? It doesn't have to be same old, same old, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10 So let's go through the different types of offers. Um, and also ones that you should definitely look at. So first we have the percentage off, which is quite common. Most people start off with the 10%, right? And then some people move up, offer 15, 20. Um, then we have the dollar amount off, right? Here's another example of the dollar amount off. Then we have the free gift, which we just went through. All you need to do is just pay for shipping, right? Now, as I said, when you're doing free gifts, you don't need to give off the entire solution, right? You can slice the solution up. 
don't offer the entire solution, right? You, what you offer front end can be an add-on, a low-end product, right? A low-ticket product. And then in the back, you can upsell them on the complete high-end solution, right? Or high-ticket offer. Here we have another example of a free product, right? It's a mask. This is a uh, skincare brand. Then we have another free product, right? A free lip balm. So you'll see uh, their main products aren't lip balms, but they're offering lip balms as, which is an add-on, right? Which is a free product that you can offer up front. And then once the person comes onto your list, you can say, hey, since you bought the free lip balm, um, here's the next solution that I would recommend. Here is another example that works really, really well. Not only are you offering the 10%, but a chance to win $500, right? Now with this, you have to make sure that the offer that you are giving is realistic. You don't want to put something like enter to win $1 million. It's just not believable or even you know, anything crazy like a hundred thousand, right? Depending on if you're Apple, then yeah. But you know, most people don't think and believe that they can win, right? So you have to make it believable, attainable, and realistic. So this is a really cool offer that you can use, right? And you're only giving it away to one person. Not everyone that signs up, only to one person. Only one person wins. Plus they get to receive 10% off of their first order. Now, here's another example that um, we spoke of, which is the quiz, right? Here's another example of where you don't necessarily need to give a dollar amount off. Um, you can just offer a consultation or quiz up front, especially if the brand has is offering personalized solutions, right? Or if, you know, the brand is offering products where people don't really know where to start off with, right? It doesn't need to be personalized supplements, but perhaps it's <clears throat> weight loss supplements, but I don't know where to start, right? So you can offer a quiz to make personalized recommendations to the customer, and this is a way to get your foot in the door. There's another info product, right? Um, it's a free guide to mastering the carnivore diet. There's another information product, right? Or not information product, but tips, right? So people can sign up to get personalized emergency information by text, right? And this can, uh, you know, be relevant state to state. So wherever you're living in one state, perhaps that state it has you know different issues or different set of problems that it's dealing with compared to the next state so you can make it a lot more personalized here is another one this is the be the first to know join the community you know this is the be the first to know about product drops be the first to know about flash sales which is very valuable but there's a caveat here right the person who signs up for this has to really want your product. Not only that, but the product has to be a high frequency buy, right? So not only does it have to be really desirable, but it has to be a high frequency buy. Same thing here. I mean, skims can get away with something like this because they sell out instantaneously so be the first to know is really valuable because this is a solution that people want it's a brand that a lot of people know about due to kim's um uh, kim being famous right same thing never miss a drop as i said there's a caveat here people have to want your product right if you're just starting up or if the brand's just starting up this is not something that's attainable because people haven't even tried your solution i mean i'm not really going to be interested for something i've never tried it's not necessarily something that's up my radar 
Or like I said, if it's something that's not a frequent buy, I mean, if I have to know about sales for couches and TVs, once I buy a TV and if I'm not getting a sale off of the first purchase, trust me, I'm not going to sign up to get another sale because that's not something that I buy every month. It's something that, you know, I will buy again unless I have to fix it or replace it. But even then, I'm not going to buy something that I have to, if I have a bad experience within the next three months or two months, then I'm not even going back to you as a brand, right? But you get the point, right? If it's a frequent buy like deodorant, skincare, cosmetics, undies, um, anything that's a frequent buy, you can apply this to. Here we have an offer for free shipping. Now, all of these pop-ups that I mention here or I go through, I have a section where I give you access to all of them. It's in a folder. Um, after the video, you can access that folder. And in that folder, I also give you ones that converted really well. So you can emulate success, right? Some of these didn't really perform that well. So you don't need to copy losers. At the end of the day, we want to copy winners. So the other thing that you have to keep in mind is you don't always need to do a one standalone offer. You can offer combos, right? You can slice all of those up and add it as an offer itself. So let's take a look at examples of combinations. Here's one, right? It's a surprise offer. Up front, you see this, right? You're, you're signing up for a mystery gift. But once you get to check out, I actually found out it's a discount, right? So up front, it's a surprise special. But when you apply it, you see the surprise discount here. It's actually a discount off of the product. Then we have the birthday gift, which is... Um, in addition to a surprise, a uh, special surprise as well. And I didn't see what the special surprise here is, um, but I spoke to the email marketer and uh, I think it was a dollar amount off or percentage, I just can't remember. Um, but this one performed really well. Here we have a free gift with the product launch so this is sort of like a giveaway plus you know you're signing up for when the product launches right as a thank you we're giving away a full legata set from our new collection when it launches uh september 8th then here we have an example of slicing up the discounts i mean not slicing up the discounts <laughs> offering two free gifts right so first off here we have a free one that's being offered and you'll see that this offer does exceptionally well and uh, it's basically a redesign of the first free gift now this is from snow oral care and if you would have seen the first free gift just pay for shipping this is a redesign of that so do you want a free wand? And they'll show you the value there. Plus access, buy one, get one free deals. Then on the next slide, they say, do you want more free stuff, right? Sign up to our VIP text list and we'll give you a free travel size whitening toothpaste, right? Perfect. So free gifts, double the ask. Here's another one. So this is, uh, here they sliced up the discount, right? So upfront, um, we did a 25% off for your first order, right? Then you get to the website. Then we ask you, do you want an additional 5% off when you sign up for SMS? And that's a 30% off your first order, right? So then who wouldn't want to, right? That's 5% off additionally. So here you give your email, save extra, and then it goes on to ask for your mobile number. 
here we have a giveaway again or a yeah a giveaway a what what do you call those things but yeah let's just call it a giveaway uh first up you see that um here they ask do you want to win three chinos three free chinos right then you say yes please then on the next slide which is really really smart they say do you want a second entry right and who didn't want that this increases your chances of winning and i'm like whoa okay perfect here uh, a quiz plus 20 percent off pri uh, plus a free product right here we have a free product plus a free consultation. Here we have a by Burger King, a $1 delivery fee, right? So when you sign up or when you place a order above $5, you get a delivery fee of just $1. Here we have a free product plus a percentage off, right? So here also, not only are they saying unlock 25% off, but they're also saying, you know, be the first to know, get notified when your favorite products are back in stock. So they're not saying 25% off when you sign up, they're saying 25% and, you know, be the first to know. So two benefits there. Here we have a dollar amount off for your first order over 30. Here we have the value, right? Plus a percentage off. It's beat procrastination. Procrastination's worst enemy. Plus sign up and you get 20% 20, uh, 20 off. So it's two benefits here. They're not saying get 20% off please sign up. They're saying beat procrastination, focus without the crash and get 25, I mean, 20% 20 off. Here they're saying get a free product with any purchase. So they're not putting a threshold, but they're just saying get a free product with any purchase. So hopefully all of these uh, different welcome offers got you to thinking you know, what exactly you can offer and how to strategize and how to think long-term about creating profitable offers. Now, you will see a folder with um, all of these pop-ups and a bonus folder that gives you the ones that actually converted really well. Because as I said, you want to emulate success, right? copy in the footsteps of those that are successful, not losers. That's why I wanted to make a distinction. It wouldn't really be helpful if I just gave you all of the pop-ups. You don't know what really worked, right? So you will get the um, folder with the exact ones that converted really, really well. So you can copy from those or just emulate, not copy.